Hey guys, what's going on? It's T Carp. We had a uh, a little bit of a snow day. I live here in East Tennessee, and uh, if you guys have been watching the news, we've got been getting hammered with snow. Actually, my work called off, and my wife uh, I had to take her into work, so I switched my go bag out uh, from my car to her car, and now I'm just switching it back for for tonight. And I thought it would be a great uh, time to kind of show you. Do a candid, hey, what's in my get home bag? This is not a bug out bag. A lot of people call it that, but this is my go bag. Uh, I've changed it up a little bit. I've got it right now riding in a Rothko kind of three-day bag or whatnot. Um, first things you notice on the outside, um, I've got my original K-Bar, uh, kind of the newer style one, uh, rubberized grips, uh, just a good old-fashioned K-Bar. The other small knife, I've got here is actually a SOG Field Pup, which is a uh, all state steel, a great little knife. Uh, doesn't look very doesn't look very good uh, aesthetically, but this knife can uh, do some damage and works really well and is a great little uh, great little knife to add to the uh, to add to the uh, K bar. So let's just kind of open this up and see what I've got. This first little patch here is my fire stuff. And I keep a thing of Zippo fluid, a Zippo lighter, black and mild cigars, which I've broken into, <laughs> a Bic lighter, and that's all on that. So that's some of my fire making materials. Because I am not the best at fire steels. Uh, this I've got a just a good old fashioned mini mag mag light. I've got a Swiss Army knife, uh, the Victorinox Fisherman, given to me by the Fort Worth Glock guy. Let's see if that's nope. I still got some more stuff in there. Uh, I've got a regular compass. I think that's all for that pouch. See, I told you this was pretty candid. Breaking into this, I've got some more, another Bic lighter. Like I said, I am not the, the, the best at fire steels, so I will have as many lighters as I can fit in it. Um, I've got kind of some food, a little bit of MREs. Uh, got to change out some tuna. I've got some... Uh, Swiss Miss, some hot chocolate, stuff like that. Got some really crappy nylon rope. 550 cord. And that's all for that po pocket. And again, this is my get home bag. So I'm trying to keep this as light as possible. This is if I if I keep if I'm stuck home from and I can't get to work and whatnot, I, I this is something to keep me going and, and to get me home. I live about a 30 minute drive away. Uh, I live in the outskirts of, of Knoxville, so I have about a 30 minute drive, and I have to cross the Tennessee River to get there. So that's my biggest thing is trying to keep light if and uh, and keep you know be able to get home within a reasonable amount of time about four hours walking distance uh i've got some more fire making stuff these are just some regular tenders uh kind of man-made and uh you know kind of the cotton balls uh dipped in vaseline so i've got those as well it's just kind of some more tender a lot of fire making stuff as you can see this is a life straw that i actually i got for christmas so from a good, actually a co-worker got this for me. So, life straw. One full MRE that has not been opened. So, it's got kind of everything in there. A heavy duty tarp. So, for shelter. To kind of help with shelter if need be. 
a small, a small, small, small uh, little metal kit, kind of a boo-boo kit, just kind of a, uh, you know, just a little blanket, bacterial wipes, stuff like that. So there's that. That's all in there. And then I, in here, just I've got some, some more like a paracord bracelet, something high visibility, and I've also got some utensils. So that is all in there. Guys, that is my get home bag. I know a lot of people say, oh, I can carry more things and whatnot, but for me, this seems to work real well. Um, I haven't had to use it, thank God, but I'm trying to focus on staying lightweight, uh, you know, staying, staying kind of easily seen. So, you know, not trying to be covert or anything like that. Having stuff, having a good amount of food, uh, having a good, uh, a good enough ways to uh, a lot of ways to make fire and and of course you know with the life straw there's plenty of water in East Tennessee especially uh, the route that I travel home if I had to walk uh, so that life straw takes care of that shelter with the 550 cord and the and the tarp uh, you know I've got basically all my basics covered um, guys thanks for watching this is T Carp signing out this week, I mean, this, this. Little step.